Sometimes you may find yourself in a position where you need to move assets from one blockchain to another and you have to use a bridge to do so. This is a tutorial that will go through the one chain bridge so that you can learn how to move assets from one blockchain to another. There may be a lot of DeFi protocols out there that you may need USDT or USDC for or something else that you need to move to be able to participate in that ecosystem. This is the bridge here, onechain.org. You can get to it in the links down below as well, but it is one of the only decentralized bridges out there that allows you to move your assets from one blockchain to another. Just navigate to the website and then click on bridge in the top hand corner there, and you'll be able to connect your wallet to the bridge and then start moving assets. Here, I'll connect my MetaMask wallet, and then from the token assets, I'm going to choose USDT to move. From the from chain, I'm going to choose BNB because that's where I have my USDT. And then I'm going to choose Cardano because there's a lot of opportunities over there at the moment in the DeFi ecosystem. So there we go. So now I can see the amount of USD that I'm going to bridge over in this case. And then in my recipient address, what I need to do here is then add in my receiving Cardano address. So I've already set up my Cardano wallet. In this case, it's a NAMI wallet. You can see my tutorials about setting up a NAMI wallet in the top right hand corner there. And all I need to do now is click on receive from my wallet, copy that particular address, paste it into the recipient area here, and then type in the amount of assets I want to move over. In this case, I'm just gonna move five USD. Then I'll click next. Now with this pop-up, you need to make sure that you're sending to a Cardano native address and not an exchange. Click on confirm, and then the bridging process will begin. It will show you the amount of fees and the process that it will go through. So I'll click on confirm here, and then I'll need to sign a transaction on my MetaMask wallet. First of all, you have your spending cap. So I'm just gonna prove this for the one chain bridge. And the next one here is approving the transaction to move the assets over. Everything there looks good, so I'll confirm that transaction. Great, so there we go. So now it's just going through the process of moving those assets over and creating that bridge. Once it's finished, I'll be able to see the actual assets in my Cardano native wallet itself. And that was actually quite fast. So now it's in the second processing step. I can click on the actual transaction itself and see the details. I can just, just uh, double check everything. Everything there does look good and I'll just wait for this transaction to complete. And you can also see the transaction on the one chain block explorer as well. And there we go, we just completed that. So it's taken just over two minutes to complete that transaction from BNB chain over to the Cardano blockchain. And we can also see the success message within the history on the one chain bridge. So let me just connect to my Cardano wallet and check the transaction there. So I can just see that transaction of the USDT come in and I can also see that appear within my Cardano wallet. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic, really simple, easy process of going through and moving assets from one blockchain to another using the one chain bridge. It's an absolutely fantastic bridge. And if you wanna learn more about the decentralization of the bridge, they have a brilliant article here that will take you through how the permissionless bridge works and how you can actually be a part of the one chain ecosystem, set up your own particular node, uh, the particular assets that you need to keep in the node itself because there is some conditions that you do need to meet. So absolutely brilliant bridge to use there. If you wanna find out more, all the links in the show notes down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something or got something out of it, please consider giving me that thumbs up, click subscribe button, click that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast.